Nini, everyone's a four here. Uh, so I am going to try and get that page done come Monday so we can move on with our lessons. Uh, I know it's been like a month, but in the meantime, I do have a video here for you. So I got a question from a longtime viewer. Uh, basically, they had encountered a group of people who identified as pagans, but not as witches. And they were kind of like, oh my God, these people exist. Yeah, they do. Um, and it's, it's not like it should come as some big shock, really. I don't mean to condemn this person, but, uh, have you never heard of Hinduism? Like, uh, they've got thousands of gods. They don't identify as pagan. I know, but, uh, to me, they're pagans because they're not Christians. I use the term pagan thusly. Um, it was originally an insult to people who lived in the country, to people to being behind the times basically the same way we would use the term redneck or hillbilly you're basically dumb and you live in the hills and you don't understand modern speak okay or customs or whatever um so that eventually evolved in the 14th century to become someone not enrolled in the body of christ that is how i view the term pagan um someone who's not christian now, I take a little bit more of a broader term to this and say that it's someone who is not of the Abrahamic faiths, which is Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, okay? Because they're all the same God. Uh, they just have different views on them. So, uh, and they developed one after the other. So, <clears throat> that's how I view the term pagan. So, I would say that Hinduism uh is a faith that yeah they do have rituals and witchcraft but the modern hindu who lights incense and prays to their god is doing an act of worship they're not doing an act of uh witchcraft now i of course define witchcraft uh and witch in sort of the same terms i know that like the definition is someone who's like an ugly old woman and practices evil magic. But uh, we all know that that's not, that's not true. Uh, I kind of like Aleister Crowley's approach, which is witchcraft is um, bending reality to be in conformity with one's will. Or manifesting reality to be in conformity with one's will. Something like that. So basically a witch is someone who practices witchcraft. Which is energy manipulation. Uh, yeah. that's. I think that's what it is. It's energy manipulation uh, to cause change in conformity with one's will. I think that's how he defined it. I don't know. Anyway. Um, that's kind of my my views on it too. So a witch is someone who practices witchcraft. They use energy manipulation to cause change, whatever it be, um, because that is the will of the witch, and now uh, that is their desire, their ultimate desire to cause that to to happen. Because that's what witchcraft is. You have to be purely in that moment, in those emotions, and raising that energy. And that's not, that's not for everyone, you know, it's sometimes, um, I'm not going to say it's easier because being a devotee to any God is not easy. Even the Egyptians knew this, their priests cycled out every three months to do other duties, raise families, but they served at the temple for three months out of the year. Uh, and there were women, uh, priestesses and, and whatnot, but, uh, we'll get into that at another time. So, yeah, uh, if you kind of feel like witchcraft is not really your thing, you're not able to drum up energy or um, you're just not seeing a lot of results or something with your spell work, you know, maybe it's not for you. Um, it certainly takes a certain amount of desire and push to stick with it and to actually come to understand yourself in order to make your will manifest but if you're more of the devotee type you know hey that's definitely not for me um i'm i'm definitely a witch but if if you're more the devotee type and you feel like prayer and offerings to deity 
um, is kind of your thing, then maybe you should look into being just a pagan. Um, or other, just a Christian or, or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of my little video response to that. I hope this has been enlightening. That's it for tonight, guys. Synaptic.